right away, I would say within a matter of weeks, we noticed, I noticed, an increase in the number of phone calls. We pretty much staticized everything around here, and there was definitely an increase in phone the calls. Are great. In fact, we show you a checklist with over 60 items, there might be up to 90 now, of how to actually inspire even more referrals. There's only three ways, really, to increase your revenue. First step is to increase the number of clients. That's the first way. Second way is to increase the size of transactions. And the third way is to increase the frequency of transactions. So the first step is to maximize what you're already doing. The second step is geometric growth. If you can get a 10% increase in clients from 10 different sources, you have grown your business or your client base by 100%. Step number three is to borrow successes. There are thousands of successful actions that other businesses are doing that you may have never even thought of doing. And when you incorporate the actions of other businesses that are successful that none of your competitors are doing, cause an explosion of inflow of clients. This is your next checklist on referral marketing. I know that you're getting a separate set of emails about email marketing. You are going to be getting about 26 lessons as part of your training package separately on email. We're training you in referral marketing on one, how to ask for it directly, two, leveraging your email to your clientele base, and three, using LinkedIn and other social media to stay in contact. These are the three main channels. What happens though is, is that you don't integrate all three, and we want you to start integrating all three. Why not send an email every week, like we've been coaching you to do, but asking at the end of that email, do you know anybody that needs our services? It's interesting, your research was done about those who blog and how to get responses. And just by asking a question at the end of their blog article elicited much more response, more comments, more people requesting information. End your emails by asking for a referral. Do you know somebody who needs help in the following manner? Or do you know somebody who needs help with an implant? Do you know somebody who needs help with tax service? It's nothing wrong with asking who they want to help with the service that you provide. Make sure that you're using email and you're integrating email not only to send information that's relevant, informative, helpful, sometimes even humorous, but always poignant and pointed to what you do. Always ask for the referral in the email. Take a look at over your last emails and just peruse through them and see if you asked for a referral. And make sure from this point forward, somewhere in that email, you're always asking the question, who do you know that could benefit from our services? Take the action plan we've given you, review your emails, and act accordingly, and of course, get more referrals.